This is a Centurion RI245, model year 2023. A couple things I really like right off the bat after just being in the boat compared to some of the other RIs, this dash is actually pretty low and I really like that. I have as a driver really good line of sight going through the windshield. I can go above the windshield if I want to with the booster seat. I really like the two screens. They're very user friendly. You can get to your profiles if you need to. You can end up having a home button right here on the side. Some of it's a little bit difficult to get used to if you're used to the other screen. Um, but once you actually figure it out, it's super simple and super smooth. So home button, surf button on the side here. You can control your tabs. Quick surf, quick launch. You have your ballast right here. Fill all, drain all, or you can click on each individual one like that. Lighting. And also your heater is here underneath this light bulb. That's where your heater is. I couldn't find it. I thought maybe it was on the buttons here, but it's not right there on the bottom heater off seat heater also docking lights nav lights everything else you need to underwater lights music it's super simple to go in bluetooth management and actually look for a new phone i'm going to remove this device and i'm just going to go to bluetooth settings and i'm going to go hit add it's going to start searching for my phone Bingo, iPhone 11. Yes, I have an iPhone 11, not like an iPhone 13 or 14 or 16 or whatever they're at this point. No, I have an iPhone 11. I'm gonna hit the plus. Confirm pairing, yes. Boom, it's already paired. Copy. As you can see, I got radioed to go get some pretty important writing shots, but that's on another boat. You'll see that soon enough. Overall, I personally think that the RI245 is the best sized boat out of the RI lineup. It's perfect for a family like ours. There's enough room to take some friends or another family if you want, but it's also nice just to take your family. The RI has some cool features like these rear lounge seats. I know everyone wants to see the surf wave, but I just don't have any shots of that. At the time, I was the new guy on the photo shoot, and I didn't know how much access I had to the boats between the different photo shoots of the morning and the nighttime. And I wasn't gonna go ask any of these pros to use some of their equipment. I didn't even really know them yet. I probably could have grabbed some stock footage of the wave, but you can see that over on the Centurion's YouTube channel. It was definitely a fun experience being around all these different people and these awesome boats. I do have access to this exact boat, and I might do videos in the future. Put a comment down below if there's anything specific you would like to see. I did get to wakeboard behind this boat. Naturally, I made a video just for you. Tap or click the screen here. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.